Okay, welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're going to talk about conductor feel. Conductor feel. Today we're going to talk about conductor feel. Conductor feel. Anyway, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to figure out uh, a few little things. Now, before we start, if you found this video and you haven't watched anything on my conductor series, you definitely probably, unless you understand completely about conductor feel and how to figure all that out, because this one's going to be a little different. This one's going to have several different size wires in it. I mean, you got 10 gauge, you have 12 gauge. You want to make sure that you understand how to figure all this stuff up because this one is going to be about two different size wires in here. How do you figure it out? Do we have the right size box? Yada, yada, yada. So if you don't understand any of that, check out the very first video in this series because I think it's important to go back just refresh her. Now, like I said, unless you know this already, well, then don't matter. Then stick right here with me. And I appreciate it. If any of my content has ever given you guys any value, definitely please give me a thumbs up. It really does help the algorithm. People find my videos. It helps my channel keep growing. It makes me able to do these videos more and just keep on rolling with them because I've got a pile of videos that are getting ready to just explode. Anyway, we're going to talk today about this right here. Now, this is just a makeshift box, obviously. It's not a real box, but I mean, it is. But so we have two 12 gauge Romexes and we have a 10 gauge, a 10 3 in here. Now, we're going to assume this is just a junction box. So, first thing we need to do is see our cubic inch rating on this box. And this particular box here is, I should have looked this up before, I guess. It is 34.6 cubic inches. So, let's write that on the board. All right, this is what we got. We have a 10-3, and we have two 12 twos. All right, now let's see. I'm gonna put this box down, no need for me to keep holding it. Let's see if this box is indeed big enough for our wires. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to draw our box out so we know we have a 10-3 coming in, and we have two 12 twos. So on this wire, we have three wires coming in. On this wire, we have three wires coming in on this. So let me write this up so we know. All right. This is a 10-3. Now, what do we have here? We have three, well, one, two, three, four. Okay. So now let's figure this out. All right, let's write the current carrying conductors. All right, let's start with our 10 gauge. All right, we, on our 10 gauge, we know that we have one, two, three. So we have three current on that one, and our 12 two, we have one, two. All right, on each of them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven current conductors. See where I'm going with that? If you don't understand that, then you definitely need to drop back and figure out how do we get that, all right? So how many grounds do we have? We have one, two, three. We have three grounds. But this is where it's gonna change just a little bit, okay? Because we have seven current carrying conductor wires, we have to break this up. So. We know that the 10-3 has three current carrying conductors. So we have to do three times. We have to go back over here. This is on table 314.16b. I will leave a link to a code book down below, a handbook. I recommend the handbook over anything. Definitely check it out. I'll leave the Amazon link. If you buy it from me, it could make me money. Keep on doing these videos, yada, yada, yada. But we, we're gonna do at a 10 gauge. So right here, it's at 2.50. So 2.50. Five, zero, okay? So that is out of the way. Now we have four left, one, two, three, four. And those are at 12 gauge at 2.25. And our grounds, now we have two different size wires in here. So what do we do as far as how do we figure out what size, because you only, because there's only three wires in here. Remember I said before in previous videos, one through four is one size. What size would we go with? Think about that for a second. What size 
Let's go ahead and put it on here. One size. Let's just say um, 10 gauge, 10 current. This is 12 current. Y'all thinking about this, right? Current. And then one ground. Okay, so uh, what do you do? What size do you go with here? You're right, you go with the biggest size. So we go at 2.50. All right, and this is just a junction box. Remember, we're not putting no devices in this. So you always go with your bigger size ground, always. So we got the grounds out of the way. Now, we also have to figure out we have one clamp size, so what? Even though all the clamps in that box are exactly the same size, what size do we rate that clamp at? Do you know? Well, we're also gonna rate that at the biggest wire size we have coming in, and that is a 10 gauge at 2.50 clamp. All right, so now are we done? Yes. Now all we have to do is add all of this together to figure out what that is. Now you guys know me, I have to use my calculator because I can't figure all that out in my head. And plus I wanna make it where it's, you know, semi easy for all of us. So let's look, all right, three times 2.5, three times 2.5, that equals seven and a half. Four times 2.25 equals Nine. All right, and then we have 2.5 plus 2.5, and that's five. So I don't have to do calculator on that one. All right, so what is the total on that? Well, let's see. 21.5. So our box is rated at 34.6, and we have 21.5 cubic inches. Plenty of room. Completely plenty of room. Think about this for next week's video because we're gonna keep, we're gonna, I'm gonna leave this up. You guys are gonna see this uh, on the next video. The next video will be extremely, probably even shorter than this one, unless I do a lot of talking, which we're not trying to do that. But we're gonna talk about wire nuts inside of the box and pigtails on the outside of the box, you know, or inside the box, whatever. So do you count them? Does it count as a box fill? Is it, I mean, what is it? So. Let's wait till next week to figure all that out. Guys, like I asked you, please, give me that thumbs up, stop what you're doing, give it a thumbs up. If you like what you see here, like and subscribe. God bless and we will see you on the next one, which will be soon. Have a great day.